story for you. I know it's been very quite challenging. It's really hard um, to stay brave, especially in the pandemic right now. But I hope today's story inspires you to be brave. Okay, so for today's story, we have A Little Spot of Courage, a story about being brave, written and illustrated by Diane. It's a story about being brave, and have you been, been braver lately? If not, it's okay to feel a bit scared, but whenever we feel scared, it's always a chance for us to be brave or courageous, okay? So let's listen to this story and see how we can be brave in this very, very scary time, okay? All right, a little spot of courage. A story about being Hi, I'm Courage Spot. I'm here to help you do something that is challenging or difficult, especially when you are afraid. You might see me when you are brave too. I thought superheroes were the only people who showed courage. How can I show courage? Do you think superheroes are the only ones that are brave and strong? No? Yeah, there might be other people. Can you be courageous? Can you be brave? That's great to hear. But let's find out for those who are still yet to find their bravery. Okay? You might have thought of superheroes when I said the word courage, but here are some real heroes who grow their courage spot every day by keeping us safe. So these people help us, uh, these people show bravery every day. We've got soldiers, firefighters, the police, and the doctors. They show courage every day, especially now. We call them frontliners. You don't need to wear a cape to have courage. Courage is in all, inside all of us, and we can do small or large acts of courage every day. Big to show courage. You may not see the effects of your courage right away, but I can tell you that every act of courage, big or small, makes a positive difference in this world. Look at that, he's holding something. It says here, courage card. That's why we want to grow our courage spot as big as we can. Do you want to grow your courage spot? Do you want to be a bit more braver nowadays? Yeah? One way we can do this is by creating courage cards. Reading these cards provides inspiration to do more acts of courage. So this is a courage card, an example. And you write here every time you do an act of courage, write it here, okay? So uh, you can get cards right now and maybe we can create as we go along, okay? Inspire yourself, inspire your family, or inspire other kids around you to be brave right now. Let's see. Courage might look heroic on the outside, but on the inside, it may feel like worry and frustration. Courage isn't something that makes us not scared. It's something that helps us overcome worries. Oh. So courage is not just being brave, it is something that helps us overcome our worries and our frustration. So do you ever feel frustrated or worried sometimes? Yeah, you have these feelings inside you. In addition to your courage spot, your confidence spot will be able to help too. So aside from being courageous and brave, also need some confidence it helps you balance out those two feelings the more you believe in yourself the easier it will become to show courage try repeating this to yourself every morning today is a new day I will have a great start I will listen to the voice inside my heart I will let good thoughts inside my mind and tell myself I am brave I am loving I am am kind so can you try that right now go in front of a mirror or if you have a, um, a portable mirror with you and tell this to yourself 
I am brave, I am loving, I am kind. Did that help boost up your confidence spot and your courage spot? Hope so. There are times you might avoid a safe situation because you are worried or scared. This is when your anxiety spots grows a lot and it doesn't make you feel good. That's why you want to try to grow your courage spot every day. So if we don't uh, grow our courage spot, maybe your anxiety spot grows. Do you have an anxiety spot? It's okay to have it. I'll admit, even me, myself, I have an anxiety spot. But if I help make my courage spot grow, this spot won't grow as much anymore. So look at this. One of our friends over here is feeling anxiety. It's over there, there's her anxiety spot and she's also feeling it. What, what do you think is she anxious about? So let's see what she wrote in her courage card. I was worried before I went to the party because I didn't know that many people uh, I didn't know that many people but I ended up having a great time. Oh, so she faced her anxiety, she was worried, she didn't know anyone, but she still attended it and had a great time. That's showing courage. Have you ever felt in this situation? You might have went to a party, you didn't know anybody. So I hope that if this situation comes again, or if you have yet to experience this, I hope you're able to have a courage card like this. You still attend it even though you're anxious, but then to just see that, oh, you'll have a great time and that will grow your courage spot. Let's look at some of, uh, let's look at some times when you both wrote on your uh, courage cards. Like when an accident happened, you had, you had courage to be honest. Have you ever told uh, someone something that was honest? Could be to your growing up or to your friend and you know what i can know i know that you can sometimes feel worried or scared about telling the truth so let's take a look at this situation right here courage part i told my parents i broke the vase playing soccer in the house oh have you had a similar situation to this that you might have broken something that your grown-ups own or your friend owns like maybe a vase a plate a glass or something more valuable so yeah that can be worrisome look at his face accidentally broke the vase so i hope you have the courage to be honest that still grows your courage spot or when you were both scared at the doctor's office you learned that the doctors are there to help keep you calm to keep you sorry are there to help you healthy and you both had courage to stay calm. You know what? Going to the doctor does sometimes make me anxious. And I think it does make you anxious too, right? You go to the doctor, you might be worried about a lot of things. What will they tell you or what will they do to you? Maybe like an injection because you know what? Injections are still sometimes scary. But as we know, doctors are there to help you and they make sure that you feel better but you need the courage to be calm, to stay calm. So let's read these two courage cards. I went to the doctor today and I wasn't scared at all. I even got a sticker. Courage card. I was a little scared to go to the doctor's office, but the doctor made me feel better. So if you go to the doctor and you're brave to, to meet, uh, the doctor, whoever he or she is, and if you remain calm, you deserve that courage card, okay? You can write that down in your own courage card. Remember when those kids were laughing when someone fell and they tried to get you to laugh too? You knew that was wrong and had courage to say no. That's also being brave, that's also being courageous. Saying no to other people when you know what they're doing is wrong. Doesn't mean someone else, a lot of people or someone else is doing it, doesn't make it right. Okay, 
okay. I do know that you have the wisdom and courage to know what to do, okay? So look at that. There are other two kids laughing. But then there you are. I hope this can be you. Or this is already you to help out those in need. Are you okay? That was a rough fall. Let me help you. And by not joining the people who are laughing, that's being courageous. That's being brave. Courage card. I didn't follow the crowd and I helped someone in need. You did a great job helping the new student feel welcomed when no one else did. You had courage to be kind. So have you ever met someone who is new? I'm sure they are feeling worried. They feel scared because they're in a new place. This could be in your a new friend in a new in their classroom or a new friend that just joined the barangay, right? They might feel very they will they feel like strangers and they feel scared to make new friends, right? Hi, you can sit next to me. So by making someone feel welcome, you can put also here courage card. I was kind to the new girl in school today and showed her. That showing um, showing kindness is also an act of courage. Those clothes you had on yesterday were pretty awesome. Uh, it was great to see you had courage to be who you are. So yeah, just be who you are. That's showing me. That's showing courage and bravery, being comfortable about uh, being comfortable by yourself. Okay, courage card. I wore my favorite outfit even though it didn't really match. Courage card. Uh, I wore my favorite bow tie today even though I was worried my friends wouldn't like it. Just be you. That's being brave already. When you had to go to get up on stage, you first wrote out your words before the event. I gave you courage to manage your emotions. Oh, have you ever felt this or seen people who are, clear, who are clearly afraid? Yeah, being on stage is a very, very scary thing. And for you to show up and still deliver and give it all, that's being brave and courageous. Courage card, I sang in front of a large crowd for the first time. Your courage manages your emotion. If your courage spot is large, your feelings of worry and frustration won't dominate you so much. I saw that you had a hard time learning a new skill. You had courage to be resilient and try again. You know what? Learning a new skill is very hard and it can sometimes be frustrating. It's not what we envision, but when you're resilient, that's growing your courage spot. Courage card. Art was really hard, but I kept trying. And when you keep on trying and you learn and you get better, what happens? All great art starts with a scribble. You'll definitely go to places that you've never been before. You are going to achieve something great with resilience. Okay, so I hope you never give up whatever your dream is or whatever you're doing. It's okay to mess up in the beginning because you know what? You're learning and that's a great thing. You want to be better. You don't give up and that's showing courage. I was proud to see when you shared that you didn't understand. I bet you helped out other kids too. You had courage to ask questions. You know what? I it like just like this picture, math. I'm not as well brave in math. I'm actually scared always when it comes to math and even Filipino class. But you know what? If you are brave to ask questions, if you don't understand and you know you don't understand it, but want to learn, that's another form of resilience. You asking questions, being curious, is showing courage because you want to be better, you want to learn. Courage card. I asked the teacher for help today. And you know what? For me, I was struggling in uh, math and Filipino, but I asked help from my teachers. I was brave to ask questions. And well, they inspired me to become a teacher. So I hope when you ask questions, 
that's you being brave. I saw how intimidated you both were trying out for the basketball team, but you had courage to make friends and try something new. So just like before, yeah, trying something new might be scary. Look at our two friends over here. They're worried about joining something new or trying something new. Courage card. I tried out for the basketball team. Courage card. I tried out for the team again. So they never gave up. It's like resilience from our previous page, right? So trying something new. Being brave to try something new and making friends. Do you remember when you were learning to tie your shoes? Even though you were frustrated, you had courage to keep trying. Another form of resilience. You just keep trying. That's how you're growing your courage spot. This is hard. I can do this. You tell that to yourself, okay? That you can do this. And then what happens? I did it. Courage card. Trying my shoes was hard, but I didn't give up. Riding your bike was pretty challenging. You fell a dozen times, but you kept getting up. You had courage to persevere. So it's another resilience or keep, or keep on trying. We call that perseverance. I hope I helped you unlock that order. Okay? Courage card. I learned how to ride my bike. Look at that. Our friends, our friends, um, courage spots are growing more and more as we go. Ooh, what's happening here? I was so excited when you finally realized scary shadows were not scary after all. You had the courage to manage your fear. Courage card, I could sleep without my light on. Courage card, I had fun making shadow puppets in the dark. Yeah. I know that dark usually is one of a common fear that we all have, but if you're able to face it and find even something positive about it, like making shadows, that's growing your courage spot. I was happy when you discovered that your taste buds are constantly changing. What you didn't like to eat last week could be your favorite food this week. You had the courage to try new food. <laughs> Can anybody relate? Have you ever felt scared of trying something new? I was scared to try um, ampalaya that day because I knew how bitter it was. Courage card. I tried red bell peppers tonight. I actually like them. Courage card. I tried papaya and it tasted yummy. So by keep on trying, maybe you might like it. Or, actually, just like me, ampalaya, even though it's still difficult to eat it even as an adult, I'd be brave or find a different recipe or try it with other foods to make it taste better. I was delighted, I was delighted you were able to take small steps to achieve your goal. You had the courage to try. Courage card. I was able to make it halfway on the monkey bars. So always try something new. And I think based on what we can see from the story, there are many ways to try something new and there are many ways to persevere. I was glad you were determined to find the owner of the item you found in the park. You had the courage to do the right thing. So you are determined, you are focused to do the right thing. That's growing your courage spot. Courage card. I found a watch and then looked for the owner. Wow! Look at all these courage cards. Try reading them throughout the week to inspire you and to do more acts of courage. How can you show courage this week? I think we can make our own courage cards. So this ends our story, A Little Spot of Courage.
a story about being brave. So kids, I hope that this story inspires you to be courageous and be brave, okay? And there were many examples, and I know that there could be more examples based on your own journey and experience. So make your courage card, keep them, and I hope they inspire you and share them with your friends, share your story of you being brave, and who knows, you might make your friends brave. All right, thank you for listening and reading with me. Please enjoy also the other read-alouds from the other teachers. Thank you.